Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is another weekly vlog and I'm gonna start you guys off with a little Walmart haul. So I actually went this morning to go pick up some photos from the photo center and surprise, surprise, they didn't have them. So I have to reorder them and repay for them, which is so much fun. But besides that point, I do have some other things because I was like just frustrated. So I went and sniffed some wax melts and picked some up and then um, I went through the clothing. So I did go to look for fall and Halloween stuff as well as pick up my photos, but they only had one, uh, one side of an aisle that was fall and that was it. And then they had some fall clothing out. They really did. Um, but they were still like stocking it and I didn't really find anything that I liked super like a lot, but I did find a few things. So I will just go ahead and turn it around and show you. Okay, here's my little haul. I'll start with the wax melts. I did actually need wax melts. The only ones that I have left are like vanilla and Christmas. So I picked up a few. I picked up these two just to like last me through summer. Lemon raspberry donuts. This one smells so good. So I'm very excited about this one. And then marshmallow crispies. I've had this before. It's wonderful. So pick those two up. I believe these, this was like 248. This was like 268. I got golden apple, which smells just like champagne apple and honey. It smells so good. I got a few apple scents just to like kind of transition into fall. Fresh orchard apples, just smells like super sweet and fresh apples. Caramel cheesecake cookie, which smells super, super yummy. And then banana and pumpkin bread. I had this one last year, and so I got the full size. This is only $4 for this big brick, and I know that I love this scent. So I picked this one up as well as a... Um, another like transition into fall scent and then super random but I found this peeler um, and we don't actually own a peeler so I just picked one up it's from the Drew Barrymore line but just pick that up and then clothing so they had a bunch of really cute stuff in this um, free assembly line they had this in basically the color I'm wearing right now like a cream and this like pinky color and it's just like an oversized sweatshirt so I picked up a medium I think um and it does have pockets on the side and it just looks super cozy. And this one was 28. I feel like this is just gonna be like a wear around the house kind of uh, sweatshirt for me. And then also wear it out during the fall. And then I picked up these two from the junior section. I just picked up this like plain white tank top. I figured this would be really cute to start layering with stuff, but I liked the design and it was super cheap. What is this, like $7, $5.98, so. I just thought it was kind of cute and would be nice to layer, especially under this. I love this. So I've seen these before and like never picked it up, but I finally picked up a little cropped flannel with a fake hood. Like it's a hoodie, like you layered it, but here in Texas, you can't really layer <laughs> like that, even when it is cold, but this was $14.98. I just thought it was cute. It's pretty soft. They had it in like four different colors. They had a pink one, black and white, a green checkered, which I almost got that one, and then this white one, and I got it in a large just so it would be a little oversized, and I figured I could wear this with this on the inside, and it'd be super cute. So that's my little haul. Um, I'm gonna go back to work, <laughs> and we do have like some bigger plans this weekend, so I have a haircut on Saturday, and then Ryan has a fraternity meetup at a brewery Saturday night, so that should be fun. Um, I'm, I told my mom that we should go fall decor shopping, so I think we're gonna do that on Saturday, and then on Sunday, we are going to lunch with my parents and my brother and his girlfriend to celebrate all their birthdays because my mom's birthday and then my brother and his girlfriend's birthday are at the end of the month. My mom's was last week. So we're just like celebrating them all together. And yeah, so I will talk to you guys later. about 10 a.m. I'm still sipping on my first cup of coffee. I used the new ghosty mug, or not mug, I guess this is a cup, from Starbucks because it is fall drink launch day and I am not gonna be able to make the Starbucks. I'll probably get a pumpkin cream cold brew this weekend, uh, but I just can't make it today because I'm 
chock full of meetings. I had one that ended early actually, about 30 minutes early, so that was good, but I made myself the last like coconut coffee of the summer because I just ran out of coconut coffee pods. I posted this recipe on TikTok, so if you wanna see what I made, you can go check it out there, but I used my new ghosty cup and it's so cute and I love, I bought the cold foam in a spray can. It's basically whipped cream, but it's whipped cold foam in a can. It's life changing, so you you need it. Um, but yeah, I've just been sipping on this for the last like couple of hours, and just working. <laughs> so I am like super chill today. I probably am gonna wash my hair tonight because we're gonna do a pretty big workout, and I'm gonna sweat a lot. And then tomorrow night we're actually like going out for K barbecue and karaoke. Yes, that sounds exciting. Um, doing a lot this weekend, but I am getting a haircut on Saturday and I'm so looking forward to it because my hair is absolutely too long. It doesn't even fit in the clips anymore. Like it doesn't fit in this giant clip that I bought specifically for my long hair. So I'm gonna cut it. Um, I think I'm just gonna do another like two inches. That's what I usually do every time I get a haircut. I cut about two inches and it's just so much more manageable at that length. So that's what I'm gonna do but just wanted to update you guys on where I was at today on Thursday. And Kai is coming to join us. Hey bud, what are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? He's being super cute. He just had a, a Greek yogurt treat and you had water. Yeah, it was really yummy. Anyways, I'm gonna get back to work and I'll keep you guys updated. <laughs> He's just staring at me later today on what we end up doing. But yeah, I will talk to you guys later. What? What do you want? What is it? Oh, your lip got stuck. Hello guys, it's like 6.40 and we're headed to K Barbecue for dinner. So this is gonna be really yummy tonight. definitely not morning anymore. It's like 12.30 and I'm just now getting ready, washing my face and stuff. We had a nice chilled morning. As you saw yesterday, we went and got Korean barbecue and we did some karaoke and it was so much fun. Every time I go to karaoke, I've only been twice, but every time I go, I forget how fun it is. Um, so yeah, we planned on basically getting back together for like a Christmas party and getting a bunch of people together and doing that, uh, doing like a karaoke Christmas party. Oh, it'd be so much fun. So that's in the works, but obviously that's a long ways away, but we did end up getting back home around like midnight-ish. 
Um, so we kind of just slept in this morning. We were definitely supposed to do a run, but we decided that today will just be a rest day <laughs> and we'll take it easy. Today I've got a little um, haircut at 3 p.m. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put my makeup on and get ready now. And I'm actually gonna leave a little early to pick up some gifts. So tomorrow um, we are celebrating three birthdays in the family. My brother and his girlfriend are a day apart. It's so crazy, their birthdays are a day apart. And my mom's was on the 16th. So we're just gonna be celebrating everybody's birthday tomorrow for lunch. So I'm gonna go pick up some gifts. I did pick up something for my brother already. I think I showed you guys. Um, I picked up a comic book for him. Ryan has a fraternity meet up tonight at like seven at a brewery so that's gonna be cool we'll get to interact with people and stuff once again getting ready in the mirror and talking to you guys i feel like this is like the most natural place to talk to you once i'm like doing my makeup and stuff i don't know why but it just feels natural to me anyways i'm going to finish getting ready and probably watch some housewives um update on my housewives watching if you don't know i just started watching housewives like last year and i started with new jersey which of course I started with New Jersey, right? <laughs> um, and I actually just finished catching up on New Jersey yesterday. So I finally caught up. I finished watching the latest season. So much drama and tea happened and it was awesome. It was so good. So if you haven't watched Real Housewives of New Jersey, you definitely need to. I will say it's a little toxic. So I had to take some breaks because I would just get kind of worked up about it. So that's why it took me so long, but the first couple seasons are pretty nostalgic because they are like Italian women and I am Italian. I'm not like that Italian, but my family is and um, it just made me think of my family. So the first couple seasons are really like nostalgic to me and the first couple seasons they film like around Christmas time, like fall and Christmas and that time in New Jersey is just so beautiful because it's snowy and cold and crisp and pretty and they show a lot of their Christmas trees and them getting together for the holidays. And it's just like really cute and nostalgic. Um, so I really, really like the original like first couple of seasons. Like maybe like seasons two through five are maybe my favorites. But yeah, I loved New Jersey and I just started on Beverly Hills. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. I'm like on episode eight of season one. I know Beverly Hills is supposed to be amazing because I think it is the OG. Oh my gosh, I lie. I definitely started with New York, not New Jersey last year. I started watching New York and I did catch up. Well, I caught up to the COVID season and everybody says it goes downhill from there. So I don't think I'm gonna watch the last couple of seasons. I'm just gonna start watching this new season that's out now with all new cast. So anyways, let me know <laughs> what you think of Housewives or which franchise is your favorite. I used to watch it when it first came out. I was watching like with my mom and I was like a teenager. So I wasn't really paying attention, you know? Um, but I did used to watch it, so I do know like a little bit of background on like Atlanta, New York, New Jersey, and Beverly Hills because those were kind of like the ones that were coming out while I was paying attention at least. So I know a little bit about them. I don't think I'm quite ready for Atlanta because they they get crazy on Atlanta. So I don't know if I'm ready for that, <laughs> but I think I'm gonna go for Beverly Hills and then sprinkle in some New York as it comes, but. Yeah, I really first got into it when Salt Lake City was premiering because it was finally like one that I could watch from the beginning, you know? So I like Salt Lake City. I think it's pretty good. They have a lot of drama, obviously, with some people going to jail and stuff. So that's crazy. But yeah, I think it's just something fun to watch and like turn your brain off to. So yeah, let me know if you have any Housewives favorites. But <laughs> anyways, I think I'm going to put on some Beverly Hills while I finish my makeup. I'm pretty much almost done. And I will take you guys along to shop with me for some fall and Halloween decor. So I will see you guys out there. I've been warned about you. They said that just one look and I'd get caught. There's something about you And you know it too All I do is think about you Your eyes, your scent, your touch Is all I dream of Now I can't 
All right, guys, we are here to get my hair cut. And here's the before. I'm gonna chop off about like three inches. My hair is honestly too long for this heat. So I will see you guys for the after. Sunday and I have a pretty big haul for you guys so yeah yesterday was definitely a success I went to world market and that's everything in this reusable bag right here and then um, I went and got my hair cut and then I went to TJ Maxx and I have everything on this bed from TJ Maxx so got a lot of stuff let's start with TJ Maxx since it's already out on the bed and you can kind of see it um, I got some really good things so first off just like some necessities i picked up some more socks um i just have some that have holes in them and stuff so i need to get rid of them but these were 9.99 just like adidas socks um i got some lucky brand boot socks every time i find like good brand socks i will just buy them because they're pretty hard to find at tj maxx and marshall's 5.99 and these are like the taller ones so i can wear them with um boots in the fall and they're really just nice basic colors and i really like this one so I actually just bought some Uggs online. So I'm excited to wear these with my Uggs too. I bought the Ultra Mini platforms. Ah, I'm so excited. So those will be coming in the mail soon. And then I just got some kitchen sponges. These are $4.99 for a pack of six. So that's pretty good. And then I got a few things for Kai. Um, I got him some new lamb chops. He loves these. I don't know what it is about the size of them, but he does not tear them up as much. We still have some from like Christmas and even last Halloween, I just got rid of the old um, Halloween witch one that he had from last year. So yeah, it's just a regular lamb chop and then a Halloween lamb chop, so cute. And these were $5.99. Uh, and then he also is getting some biscuits. I did open it up and give it to him already, but these are blue buffalo. I really only trust blue buffalo for a lot of the dog stuff that I buy for him. And these are baked with pumpkin and cinnamon and they're in little spooky shapes. How cute is that? So these were $4.79. And then I did pick up only one body care item. I picked up pumpkin icing from Philosophy in the shower gel, you guys. I'm so excited about this. It's $10.99. It smells so delicious. Even my mom, who's like a pumpkin hater, <laughs> she does not like pumpkin spice, um, really likes this one. It smells exactly like icing, so I'm very excited to try this one in the shower, and I'm glad I haven't filmed my fall Project Use It Up yet because I think this is going to go in it. Maybe not this month, maybe for October, we'll see. So that's this one. And then I did get two clothing items. So I had been looking at these types of items last year from Abercrombie, but they're pretty expensive. So this is a puffer vest, and it's faux leather, just like super good looking quality. This is the brand Bagatelle, and I got it in a size medium, and it was $35. So it is just a puffer vest. It is full length. I would rather a cropped one, but honestly, full length is not bad. And I think this is nice for both casual wear and like if I'm trying to be dressed up and nice. And vests are better than jackets here in Texas because it doesn't actually get that hot. So this will be cute as like an accessory in the fall and winter. And then I picked up this longer one from Thread and Supply, and this was $30. This one has buttons. I think this is so cool. It's like basically a trench coat, but it's a puffer, um, and it's a little more lightweight, so I think this will also be nice for a Texas winter, but I think it's cool. I like that it's like it looks like a shirt, but it's a puffer, so it's nice and warm and cozy. It's so cute, and for $30, I mean, I feel like that's a really great price, so picked that one up. I'm kind of like stocking up on my winter stuff now because last year I waited too long. I was like waiting for a sale or waiting to find the right thing and I just like missed my opportunity, so. Okay, next I found this wonderful white cream pumpkin pillow. So it's cream in the back and then it has white and cream pumpkins. I think this is gorgeous. You probably didn't even notice that it was in the background yet because it blends so well with my current aesthetic. So it was $24.99 and it's so beautiful. I might have to go back and get two. So let me show you on the bed. I would just replace this Let's Stay Home with this and it fits so perfect. But should I do just like two of these? One on each side? I don't know, you guys should tell me what you think. And then the last thing is this really big doormat it's so cute. It's like a rug, basically, 
but this was $25. I just thought this was the cutest thing ever and it's fall and Halloween, so I can just put it out now. <laughs> but I really got this for the little nook that I just redid last week um, where our shoe storage is. So I think it's super cute. It's the perfect size. It's adorable. And I'm going to have this for years to come and it's like the cutest thing ever. So I'm really excited about this guy. So that's the TJ Maxx haul. Me and my mom both spent like the same amount of money. We did so good. We got so much good stuff. So that was a lot of fun to meet her and go shopping with her. But let's go into a uh, world market. If you don't have a world market near you, it's like a store that has stuff from all over the world. They have homeware, they have um, food, they have furniture, like they have everything. So they had a lot of stuff. Um, I did pick up some stuff for my coffee bar. So they actually have really reasonably priced glassware. So I picked up this little double shot cup. I think this would be so cute to do TikTok videos in. Um, I just think it's adorable. And I like this like short squatty size and this was $5.99. I think that's a really good deal. If you got it on Amazon, you'd have to get like a four pack for 25 or 30. So I'd rather just have one because it's just me. Like it doesn't really matter, you know? And then I picked up this really cool tall latte mug. I think this is gonna be so cute for fall coffees, $7.99. And I just like the size of it. I think this is just like really adorable. I like that it's double walled too. So it's not gonna like make me burn my hands. <laughs> okay, a few food items. I picked up two bags of pasta. This is Calamarada. And this is Busiati. I don't know, they looked fun. These were like $5.99 each, I think. So I thought it was a good price for like actual Italian pasta, so that's fun. And I do wanna like apologize for the way my hair looks. Even though I just got it done yesterday, I went on a run this morning and I'm all sweaty and now my hair just looks bad. So I just put it in a ponytail. But anyways, uh, they had a bunch of like fall baking mixes. So I picked up a pumpkin chocolate chip quick bread mix so cool i cannot i think this is like also six dollars right maybe eight um you need six tablespoons of butter milk and two large eggs so i just thought this was fun i'm gonna try to do like baking stuff every sunday um on the weekends so another baking item i got a scone mix just add water and this is blueberry scones which is one of ryan's like favorite treats so i thought this would be fun to try out so that's this one. I got the pumpkin pie Tarani syrup. I've been looking for this one. I'm so excited for this because people have been doing TikTok uh, coffee recipes already with this and I've been dying to try it. They do sell a lot of Tarani like syrups and stuff there. Oh my God, that smells just like pumpkin pie. I'm so excited, you guys. The fall, the fall coffees, they're about to hit. Okay, and the last thing is this little pumpkin LED candle. So it's a fake candle, but I just thought this was gorgeous and it was $14.99, it was 15 bucks. I didn't need it, but it was so cute, so I got it. <laughs> and then last thing, I did pick up one little item from Ulta. I picked up the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder because I just ran out of my little mini. And yeah, that's the whole haul. So I'm pretty much um, banned from spending for a while, <laughs> but that was a lot of fun <laughs> and I got a lot of good stuff. And I got to go with my mom, which is also great. So yeah, we had a good time. So I'm pretty much ready for our lunch in a few hours. So I'm just gonna like record and edit videos and stuff. And we'll go to lunch and I'll bring you guys along. And I will chat with you guys later. Hello guys, I was about to take my makeup off and get ready for bed and I realized I hadn't finished this vlog. So <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and sign off here. We had a great lunch with my parents and that was that. That was pretty much the extent of today. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Lots of fall haulage, but yeah, it was still really fun. So anyways, I will catch you all in my next video. Bye.